even when I'm in the clouds It lasts the sky as you would whisper a sound If I make my way right now Pick the pieces off the ground You know that each day gets me closer to you Each day I'm closer to you
This is our home, our beloved Orchid City. Clean, peaceful, safe. The gateway to northern Mindanao, like the rest of the world, is currently facing its toughest challenge. But this is the city of the free. This is the Pollock City. We shall continue to stand. The world has changed. And DMC is changing with it. As we reopen our doors, you ask, Am I safe at school? As we move towards limited face-to-face -to -face classes this term, we have one promise, that your health and safety will be our top priority. We will do what we've always done, to take care of our students and teachers. We have dedicated our efforts and resources in keeping your learning environment COVID free. But we know this will be a great and continual challenge. You can do your part by being a model of healthy practices. We can get through this together. Here are the measures we put in place to keep COVID at bay. We are all expected to properly wear our face masks and face shield as we leave our homes. DMC College assures all their students, faculty and staff, and guests that the school facilities are regularly disinfected. Upon arriving at the main entrance, please head directly to the hand washing station. All individuals entering the campus are required to wash their hands thoroughly. Hand washing stations are also strategically placed all over the campus to ensure everyone's optimum hygiene. Before entering, step on the footpath and have your body temperature checked by the security personnel. You may proceed to scanning your QR code before walking inside the campus premises. DMC College Foundation Incorporated strictly observes physical distancing six feet apart. Officers are deployed around the campus to monitor the compliance of each person to our minimum health protocols. Please be aware of all signage for your guidance. We have also set arrows to guide you in your coming and going around the school. We urge you to follow them and avoid loitering. We rely on everyone's cooperation for our safety. When you have arrived at your assigned classroom or laboratory, present your vaccination card and fill health insurance card to your instructor. Students taking their laboratory classes are required to wear a personal protective equipment or PPE. Perform hand sanitation as you prepare for the donning of the PPE. Carefully wear gown. Put on hand gloves. As we're all required to have a face mask on at all times, protective eyewear or face shield is also a must. Now, you are all set. Students are not allowed to sit closely or to transfer seats once inside the room. They will be assigned to a strategically positioned seat and each one is responsible in disinfecting their chair or area before and after class. DMC College, 
with their diligent health officers, also ensures to disinfect all the school facilities religiously. If, during class, someone experiences flu-like symptoms, like chills, runny nose, headache, cough, difficulty in breathing, sore throat, tiredness, vomiting, and diarrhea, the student must immediately report this to the instructor in charge. The school nurse will then be alerted to assist the student to the campus isolation room. It is best to remain calm and collected at all times. In the isolation room, the student will be checked by the school nurse and will be advised to rest. The parents or the guardian will then be informed to make necessary arrangements. DMC College has a standby ambulance during all class or working hours. We will make sure that you get home safely after receiving first aid. Comfort rooms are found around the campus. Only one person at a time is allowed inside the CR. Wait for the last person on a CR break to return and make sure to inform your instructor before you leave. When classes are over, students shall proceed to the removal of their PPEs. Sanitize your hand before removing your protective eyewear or face shield, but keep your face mask on. Carefully remove hand gloves. Make sure not to touch the soil part to avoid possible contamination. Observe proper segregation at disposal and sanitize your hands once again. All persons inside the DMC campus are encouraged to minimize their movements inside the school premises. For office transactions, all students and guests are required to properly wear a face shield above the face mask. One person at a time per transaction with opposite entry and exit points. Please wait for your turn and keep in mind our safety health protocols. As you leave the campus, make sure to head to the hand washing station near the school's exit before you board the coaster. This is a necessary step before heading to your next destination. Thank you for starting your future with us. We are so glad to have you. Welcome back, DMCN. I can feel something alive within my bones Illuminate my mind whenever I'm alone If I could run forever, I'd chase the moon I'll push the mountains and rivers to get to you So I can feel the sun even when it starts to snow Reflecting back my thoughts were out of control Close and close. 
health and safety will be our top priority. We will do what we've always done to take care of our students and teachers. We have dedicated our efforts and resources in keeping your learning environment COVID free. But we know this will be a great and continual challenge. You can do your part by being a model of healthy practices. We can get through this together. Here are the measures we put in place to keep COVID at bay. We are all expected to properly wear our face masks and face shield as we leave our homes. DMC College assures all their students, faculty and staff, and guests that the school facilities are regularly disinfected. Upon arriving at the main entrance, please head directly to the hand washing station. All individuals entering the campus are required to wash their hands thoroughly. Hand washing stations are also strategically placed all over the campus to ensure everyone's optimum hygiene. Before entering, step on the footpath and have your body temperature checked by the security personnel. You may proceed to scanning your QR code before walking inside the campus premises. DMC College Foundation Incorporated strictly observes physical distancing six feet apart. Officers are deployed around the campus to monitor the compliance of each person to our minimum health protocols. Please be aware of all signage for your guidance. We have also set arrows to guide you in your coming and going around the school. We urge you to follow them and avoid loitering. We rely on everyone's cooperation for our safety. When you have arrived at your assigned classroom or laboratory, present your vaccination card and fill health insurance card to your instructor. Students taking their laboratory classes are required to wear a personal protective equipment or PPE. Perform hand sanitation as you prepare for the donning of the PPE. Carefully wear gown. Put on hand gloves. As we're all required to have a face mask on at all times, protective eyewear or face shield is also a must. Now, you are all set. Students are not allowed to sit closely or to transfer seats once inside the room. They will be assigned to a strategically positioned seat and each one is responsible in disinfecting their chair or area before and after class. DMC College, with their diligent health officers, also ensures to disinfect all the school facilities religiously. If, during class, someone experiences flu-like symptoms, like chills, runny nose, headache, cough, difficulty in breathing, sore throat, tiredness, vomiting, and diarrhea. The student must immediately report this to the instructor in charge. The school nurse will then be alerted to assist the student to the campus isolation room. It is best to remain calm and collected at all times. In the isolation room, the student will be checked by the school nurse and will be advised to rest. The parents or the guardian will then be informed to make necessary arrangements.
CMC College has a standby ambulance during all class or working hours. We will make sure that you get home safely after receiving first aid. Comfort rooms are found around the campus. Only one person at a time is allowed inside the CR. Wait for the last person on a CR break to return and make sure to inform your instructor before you leave. When classes are over, students shall proceed to the removal of their PPEs. Sanitize your hand before removing your protective eyewear or face shield, but keep your face mask on. Carefully remove hand gloves. Make sure not to touch the soiled part to avoid possible contamination. Observe proper segregation at disposal and sanitize your hands once again. All persons inside the DMC campus are encouraged to minimize their movements inside the school premises. For office transactions, all students and guests are required to properly wear a face shield above the face mask. One person at a time per transaction with opposite entry and exit points. Please wait for your turn and keep in mind our safety health protocols. As you leave the campus, make sure to head to the hand washing station near the school's exit before you board the coaster. This is a necessary step before heading to your next destination. Thank you for starting your future with us. We are so glad to have you. Welcome back, DMCN. So I can feel something alive within my bones Illuminate my mind whenever I'm alone If I could run forever I'd chase the moon I'd push the mountains and rivers to get to you So I can feel the sun even when it starts to snow Reflecting back
This is the city of the free. This is the Pollock City. We shall continue to stand. The world has changed, and DMC is changing with it. As we reopen our doors, you ask, am I safe at school? As we move towards limited face-to-face -to -face classes this term, we have one promise, that your health and safety will be our top priority.
we will do what we've always done to take care of our students and teachers. We have dedicated our efforts and resources in keeping your learning environment COVID-free. But we know this will be a great and continual challenge. You can do your part by being a model of healthy practices. We can get through this together. Here are the measures we put in place to keep COVID at bay. We are all expected to properly wear our face masks and face shield as we leave our homes. DMC College assures all their students, faculty and staff, and guests that the school facilities are regularly disinfected. Upon arriving at the main entrance, please head directly to the hand washing station. All individuals entering the campus are required to wash their hands thoroughly. Hand washing stations are also strategically placed all over the campus to ensure everyone's optimum hygiene. Before entering, step on the footpath and have your body temperature checked by the security personnel. You may proceed to scanning your QR code before walking inside the campus premises. DMC College Foundation Incorporated strictly observes physical distancing six feet apart. Officers are deployed around the campus to monitor the compliance of each person to our minimum health protocols. Please be aware of all signage for your guidance. We have also set arrows to guide you in your coming and going around the school. We urge you to follow them and avoid loitering. We rely on everyone's cooperation for our safety. When you have arrived at your assigned classroom or laboratory, present your vaccination card and fill health insurance card to your instructor. Students taking their laboratory classes are required to wear a personal protective equipment or PPE. Perform hand sanitation as you prepare for the donning of the PPE. Carefully wear gown. Put on hand gloves. As we're all required to have a face mask on at all times, protective eyewear or face shield is also a must. Now, you are all set. Students are not allowed to sit closely or to transfer seats once inside the room. They will be assigned to a strategically positioned seat and each one is responsible in disinfecting their chair or area before and after class. DMC College, with their diligent health officers, also ensures to disinfect all the school facilities religiously. If, during class, someone experiences flu-like symptoms, like chills, runny nose, headache, cough, difficulty in breathing, sore throat, tiredness, vomiting, and diarrhea. The student must immediately report this to the instructor in charge. The school nurse will then be alerted to assist the student to the campus isolation room. It is best to remain calm and collected at all times. In the isolation room, the student will be checked by the school nurse and will be advised to rest. The parents or the guardian will then be informed to make necessary arrangements. DMC College has a standby ambulance during all class or working hours. We will make sure that you get home safely after receiving first aid.
comfort rooms are found around the campus. Only one person at a time is allowed inside the CR. Wait for the last person on a CR break to return and make sure to inform your instructor before you leave. When classes are over, students shall proceed to the removal of their PPEs. Sanitize your hand before removing your protective eyewear or face shield, but keep your face mask on. Carefully remove hand gloves. Make sure not to touch the soil part to avoid possible contamination. Observe proper segregation at disposal and sanitize your hands once again. All persons inside the DMC campus are encouraged to minimize their movements inside the school premises. For office transactions, all students and guests are required to properly wear a face shield above the face mask. One person at a time per transaction with opposite entry and exit points. Please wait for your turn and keep in mind our safety health protocols. As you leave the campus, make sure to head to the hand washing station near the school's exit before you board the coaster. This is a necessary step before heading to your next destination. Thank you for starting your future with us. We are so glad to have you. Welcome back, DMCN. So I can feel something alive within my bones Illuminate my mind whenever I'm alone If I could run forever I'd chase the moon I'd push the mountains and rivers to get to you So I can feel the sun even when it starts to snow Reflecting back my thoughts were out of control
This is our home, our beloved Orchid City. Clean, peaceful, safe. The gateway to northern Mindanao, like the rest of the world, is currently facing its toughest challenge. But this is the city of the free. This is the Pollock City. We shall continue to stand. The world has changed, and DMC is changing with it. As we reopen our doors, you ask, am I safe at school? As we move towards limited face-to-face -to -face classes this term, we have one promise, that your health and safety will be our top priority. We will do what we've always done, to take care of our students and teachers. We have dedicated our efforts and resources in keeping your learning environment COVID-free. But we know this will be a great and continual challenge. You can do your part by being a model of healthy practices. We can get through this together. Here are the measures we put in place to keep COVID at bay. We are all expected to properly wear our face masks and face shield as we leave our homes. DMC College assures all their students, faculty and staff, and guests that the school facilities are regularly disinfected. Upon arriving at the main entrance, please head directly to the hand washing station. All individuals entering the campus are required to wash their hands thoroughly. Hand washing stations are also strategically placed all over the campus to ensure everyone's optimum hygiene. Before entering, step on the footpath and have your body temperature checked by the security personnel. You may proceed to scanning your QR code before walking inside the campus premises. DMC College Foundation Incorporated strictly observes physical distancing six feet apart. Officers are deployed around the campus to monitor the compliance of each person to our minimum health protocols. Please be aware of all signage for your guidance. We have also set arrows to guide you in your coming and going around the school. We urge you to follow them and avoid loitering. We rely on everyone's cooperation for our safety. When you have arrived at your assigned classroom or laboratory, present your vaccination card and fill health insurance card to your instructor. Students taking their laboratory classes are required to wear a personal protective equipment or PPE. Perform hand sanitation as you prepare for the donning of the PPE. Carefully wear gown. Put on hand gloves. As we're all required to have a face mask on at all times, protective eyewear or face shield is also a must. Now, you are all set. Students are not allowed to sit closely or to transfer seats once inside the room. They will be assigned to a strategically positioned seat and each one is responsible in disinfecting their chair or area before and after class. DMC College, with their diligent health officers, also ensures to disinfect all the school facilities religiously. If, during class, someone experiences flu-like symptoms, 
like chills, runny nose, headache, cough, difficulty in breathing, sore throat, tiredness, vomiting, and diarrhea. The student must immediately report this to the instructor in charge. The school nurse will then be alerted to assist the student to the campus isolation room. It is best to remain calm and collected at all times. In the isolation room, the student will be checked by the school nurse and will be advised to rest. The parents or the guardian will then be informed to make necessary arrangements. DMC College has a standby ambulance during all class or working hours. We will make sure that you get home safely after receiving first aid. Comfort rooms are found around the campus. Only one person at a time is allowed inside the CR. Wait for the last person on a CR break to return and make sure to inform your instructor before you leave. When classes are over, students shall proceed to the removal of their PPEs. Sanitize your hand before removing your protective eyewear or face shield but keep your face mask on. Carefully remove hand gloves. Make sure not to touch the soil part to avoid possible contamination. Observe proper segregation at disposal and sanitize your hands once again. All persons inside the DMC campus are encouraged to minimize their movements inside the school premises. For office transactions, all students and guests are required to properly wear a face shield above the face mask. One person at a time per transaction with opposite entry and exit points. Please wait for your turn and keep in mind our safety health protocols. As you leave the campus, make sure to head to the hand washing station near the school's exit before you board the coaster. This is a necessary step before heading to your next destination. Thank you for starting your future with us. We are so glad to have you. Welcome back, DMCN.
سخیم
possible without the following sponsors. Platinum Sponsors, Suarez Review Center, Menens, The Rural Bank of Rizal, Country Bankers Insurance Group, Gold Sponsors, Zap Credit Corporation, Sublimation Hub, Academy for Professional Opportunities Review Center, Blue Concept, Ms. Arlene L. Hunter, Mr. Luis Christian Romero, called Snack Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine by Ms. Bima Bahe. Our silver sponsors, Skyrays, Development Bank of the Philippines, Squareway, Big Joe's, Diamond Hardware, YSL. J. Bombay Jewelry and Home and Office by J. Bombay Enterprises. Sai Biko. 4M Gas Station. Aviva Publishing House Incorporated. DNU Bros. Cellcom Tech. Inksys Express. Rockers Corner. Mascomida Mexicana. BCR Pharmacy. 
Hannah Bernadette House of Gowns and Crowns, Morning Dose Cafe, Sunnyside, Tagupa Pharmacy, Addicti and the Sushi Box by Jocelyn Kansur and Roderick Tugade, Liserio Bernido Photography, Metro Shoppers Trading Incorporated, Smart and PLGT, Miss Arlene Santong, Miss Arlene Molina, Diwa, Shandar, our official shoes by Mark Anthony Ten Chavez, Philip Parama Atelier, our official designer, Versus Coffee, our donors, Miss Mary Chris Lyles, Miss Sheena May Bulagal, Miss Lovely Bye Bye, Miss Cherry Grace Bomber. Miss Arlene P. Salami, Mr. Maricor P. Solitario, Mr. Carl Jose Adasa, Miss Topeth Icalina, Miss Krisha Michelle Caniete, Ambibo.ph, and Studio Z.
The 40th founding anniversary of DMC College Foundation wouldn't be possible without the help of the following sponsors. Platinum Sponsors Suarez Review Center Menace The Rural Bank of Rizal Country Bankers Insurance Group Our Gold Sponsors ZAP Credit Corp Sublimation Hub Academy for Professional Opportunities Review Center Blue Concept, Miss Arlene L. Hunter, Mr. Luis Christian Romero, Colts Neck Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine by Miss Bima Bahe, our silver sponsors, Skyrace, Development Bank of the Philippines, Square Wave, Big Joe's, Diamond Hardware, YSF. J. Bombay Jewelry and Home and Office by J. Bombay Enterprises. Sai Vico, 4M Gas Station, 
Aviva Publishing House Incorporated, DN Ubros, Cellcom Tech, Inksys Express, Rockers Corner, Mascomida Mexicana, BCR Pharmacy, Hannah Bernadette House of Gowns and Crowns, Morning Dose Cafe, Sunnyside, Tagupa Pharmacy, Aditi and the Sushi Box by Jocelyn Kansur and Roderick Tugade. Viserio Bernido Photography. Metro Shoppers Trading Incorporated, Smart and PLDT Distributor. Ms. Arlene Santome. Ms. Arlene Molina. Diwa. Shandar, the Official Shoes by Mark Anthony Ten Chavez. Philip Parama Atelier. Versus Coffee. Our donors, Ms. Marie Chris Lyles, Ms. Sheena May Bulagal, Ms. Lo Lovely Bye Bye, Ms. Cherry Grace Bombard, Ms. Arlene P. Salam, Mr. Maricor P. Solitario, Mr. Carl Jose Adasa, Ms. Jopeth E. Kalina, Ms. Krisha Michelle Caniete, Ambibo.ph, and Studio Z. Tonight, the stage is set. 14 phenomenal women vying for one crown. Get ready for a show only here live at the DMC Open Field. All my ladies. All my ladies. All my ladies, point to the left, sway to the right, drop it down low and take it back high. Mm. Bitch, I don't need introduction. Follow my simple instruction. Point to the left, sway to the right, drop it down low and take it back high. Mm. Bitch, I don't need introduction. Follow my simple instruction. You see me, I do what I gotta do. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Chiara Angela Maagad Porzuelo, 16 years of age. Representing the high school department. Come here, let me mentor you. Well, some say I'm bossy, cause I am the boss. Buy anything, I don't care what it costs. Act like a casino, I'm money casino. If you're the supreme, then I'm Diana Ross. Good evening, everyone. 
I am Frizzell Libres Baluntang, 19, proud to represent the College of Nursing. Good evening, my name is Candy Lynette Ricamaramayo, 22, proud and honor to represent the School of Midwifery. Hi everyone, I am Karame Polanco Slabad Labad, 21, representing College of Computer Studies. A name that is meant to illuminate the lives of many. I am Daniela A. Zamoris, 20, representing the department that continuously aims to fight an unseen enemy, medical technology. Good evening. I am Alexandra Bastasa, 18 years old, proud to represent the College of Nursing. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Shania Sherika Ilumba Sevilla, 20 years of age, physical therapy. I am Crystal Guy Regine of Sima, 18 years of age, Radiologic Technology. My name is Karil Lin Piamandong, 18, dignified and honored to represent the Medical Technology Department. Alexi Ami de Bulagao, 19, a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration student, major in Marketing Management, proud to represent the School of Business and Accountancy. Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca Jen Karandang, 19 years old and I am proud to represent the School of Hotel, Restaurant and Institution Management. Irvin Melvillaro, 20 years of age, dignified and proud to represent Pharmacy Department. They don't know the real stuff, she don't play. Brianna Randles, 18 years of age, representing the pharmacy department. Hi everyone, I'm Angel Absin Benlot, 20 years young from the School of Teacher Education, representing the Unified Green Team. Good evening, I am Annabelle Hazel Inguito, your Miss DMC 2019, and I welcome you all to the coronation night of Miss DMC 2022. Welcome to the one and only Miss DMC 2022! Your body, boy, how soon and if you like. 
and gentlemen, I am Shania Sharika Iluka Sibuya, 20, representing physical therapy.
who lives a trail of glitter is never forgotten. I am Karin Lin Piangadong, 18, proud to represent the medical technology. Do my own thing, I strut in my own lane. I'm marching to the beat, beat, beat of my drum. Breaking loose and I'm breaking the rules. Hope my haters are ready, cause here I come, yeah. Gentlemen, Irvin Melvillaro, 20, dignified and proud to represent Pharmacy! Our host for tonight, he is the BSN alumnus, registered nurse, Mr. DMC 2014, and Mr. Gay World 2021, who recently turned over his title in Cape Town, South Africa. Please welcome Mr. Joel Ray Carcassona with his co-host, registered nurse and clinical instructor of the College of Nursing. She is also a former Miss DMC 2017, first runner-up. Let's give it up for Miss Issa May Luliong Tevez. Good evening, DMC. Maayong gabi kanatong tanan. And welcome to Miss DMC 2022, the Coronation Night. Good evening, Issa. Good evening, Joel. Wow, the evening is as lovely as the way you look tonight, Issa. You Thank look so pretty you. in that baby print dress. <laughs> And I thought you're one of the candidates tonight. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. You look as exquisite as well. Thank you, thank you. And yes, it's a privilege for me to be standing here hosting along with you in front of this jam-packed crowd. Thank you, Joel. I'm happy and grateful to be hosting this event with you as well. This is the most awaited night of our lovely candidates. It has been almost 
three years since the pandemic started and we were not able to personally witness a joyous Founders event like this one. That's right, Isa. I believe everyone is thrilled to expectate tonight's pageant and get to experience another exciting event in DMC College Foundation. So don't forget to place your hashtag when uploading in social media, hashtag DMC 48 Anniversary. Before we start this exciting event, please be reminded to follow the safety health protocols, wear your face mask, and maintain hand, hand hygiene. Truly, the health and safety of our audience is our top priority. Before we proceed, let us first check our audience from each department. If they are all thrilled and excited to give their support to their candidates. Let's start with the College of Nursing and School of Midwifery. How about the Allied Medical Sciences Department? Let's not forget about the Medical Technology Department. Give us your best cheer from the Basic Education Department. Last but not the least, let your voices be heard from the Unified Team. Now I really adore the spirit and energy of each department. That's right, and I hope they will still have that energy left for tomorrow's color party this coming October 22, 2022, 7 p.m. here in the DMC Open Field. Now tonight, we will witness as 14 aspiring ladies made it as this year's official candidates of Miss DMC 2022. Now why don't we give our candidates another resounding applause for that awesome production number. As this evening fills with excitement, we will soon find out who will be worthy of taking the crown and be hailed as Miss DMC 2022. The Miss DMC 2022 is one of the many highlights of the week-long celebration of DMC College Foundation's 48th founding anniversary. Tonight's pageant will be a corporeal experience and a memorable moment for each and every one of us as we get to celebrate another woman receiving the honor and acknowledgement as the next Miss DMC 2022. Before we proceed to our first set of special awards, we would like to remind everyone that food stalls are located directly in front of the DMC library to your right. Food, drinks, and coffee are available so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our first set of special awards. Our 14 candidates have been together for three weeks preparing for tonight's pageant. They have gotten to know each other well and have made friendships that go beyond a pageant. One of the most significant awards will be Miss Professionalism Award. Now let's start for Miss Professionalism Award is none other than candidate number. Who do you think? Who do you think it is? It's candidate number three. Candidate number three is Miss Shania Sharika Sevilla of the Physical Therapy Department. Congratulations, candidate number three, for bagging the Miss Professionalism Award. Now let's proceed to the second special award, which is Miss Congeniality. Our Miss Congeniality goes to candidate number three. Congratulations, candidate number three. Candidate number three is Miss Shania Sharika Sevilla of Physical Therapy Department. Our next award is Miss Photogenic Award. She will receive a free photo session from Lissario Bernito Photography. She is none other than candidate. Candidate number six. Candidate number six is Miss Chiara Angela Persuelo of the Basic Education Department. To award the Miss Photogenic Award to our candidate, 
it will be Mr. Elisario Bernido of Elisario Bernido Photography. Wow, I can see the frame, she's really photogenic. Congratulations. That's candidate number six for Miss Photogenic. Now let's proceed to the next special award, which is the Face of USANA True Health Award. She will receive a sash, bouquet, and USANA products. And the Face of USANA True Health Award goes to... Who do you think will win? Candidate number one. Candidate, candidate number one is Brianna Ren Bills from the pharmacy department. She will receive a sash bouquet and Isana products. Our next award is Miss Sunnyside PH DePaulo. Photo of Mona. <laughs> Our next award is Miss Sunnyside PH DePaulo. She will receive a sash, bouquet, and gift certificate worth of 500 pesos. She is none other than candidate, candidate number 14. Candidate number 14 is Miss Angel Benlot from the School of Teacher Education. Miss Sunnyside Philippines Depolo will receive sash, bouquet, and a gift certificate worth 500 pesos. Congratulations, candidate number 14. Now let's proceed to the next special award. Miss A&D Barbershop and Salon. And the Miss A&D Barbershop and Salon goes to candidate number six. Candidate number six is Miss Kiara Angela Forosuelo of the Basic Education Department. Miss A&E Barbershop and Salon will receive a sash and bouquet. Our next award is Miss Energetic Award. Who among these lovely candidates is the most energetic? Miss Energetic is candidate number six. Once again, candidate number six is Miss Kiara Angela Forsuelo of the Basic Education Department. Congratulations, candidate number six, for being the Miss Energetic. Now the next special award is Miss LKS Choice Award. And Miss LKS Choice Award will receive a sash and a bouquet. The winner is candidate number four. Candidate number four is Miss Rekha Jan Karandam of the School, Hotel, Restaurant and Institution Management. For our next award is Miss S&A Lending Services. She will receive a sash and bouquet. Miss S&A Lending Services goes to candidate number 13. Candidate number 13 is Miss Carol May Labad Labad of the College of Computer Studies. Uh, there's a lot of awards for tonight and it's just the first set of special awards and most of them are from our sponsors so thank you so much sponsors for your generosity now let's proceed to miss zach construction choice award our miss zach construction choice award goes to candidate candidate number 14. Candidate number 14 is Miss Angel Benlot from the School of Teacher Education. She will receive a sash and bouquet. For our 
next award is Blush Spa Aesthetics Choice Award. Our Blush Spa Aesthetics Choice Award is candidate, candidate number two. Candidate number two is Miss Alexi Ami Bulagao from the School of Business and Accountancy. Now let's proceed to the Clyde Lambuhon Wedding Stories Choice Award. And the winner is candidate number 13. Candidate number 13 is Ms. Carol May Labad Labad from the College of Computer Studies. Another award we have in store for tonight is Miss Zanorte Glass Choice Award. Miss Zanorte Glass Choice Award goes to candidate, candidate number four. Candidate number four is Miss Rekha Jan Karandam from the School of Hotel, Restaurant and Institution Management. Congratulations, candidate number four. Now let's proceed to Miss Janvik Choice Award. And the winner for Miss Janvik Choice Award goes to candidate number six. Candidate number six is Miss Chiara Angela Fursuelo from the Basic Education Department. And by the way, for the information of everybody, Janvik will transfer to new location that's at CBCO building, General Luna Street, Depolog City, soon this November. I hope to see you soon there. Be sure to visit at Janvik's new location. Now for our next award is Miss AV Concrete Products. And this award goes to Candid, Candid number 14. Candidate number 14 is Miss Angel Ben Lott from the School of Teacher Education. Now we will award the Miss EJ Agrivet Trading Incorporated. And the Miss EJ Agrivet Trade Incorporated goes to candidate number 14. Congratulations, it's you again, candidate number 14. Candidate number 14 is Miss Angel Ben Lott from School of Teacher Education. Our next award is Miss Saran Kmart Choice Award. This award goes to candidate number 13. Candidate number 13 is Miss Carol May Labad Labad from the College of Computer Studies. We still love, have a lot of a stake for the candidates. So to those people behind my back, don't worry. The night is still long, so you know, um, just expect for you know more special awards from our sponsors. That's correct. There's still so much in store for your candidates, so don't be disheartened. There's still so many awards left for you. That's correct. Now the next award goes to Miss Quipper. And this award goes to candidate number six. Candidate number six is Miss Kiara Angela Forsuelo from the Basic Education Department. Miss Quipper will receive a sash and bouquet. Okay. 
Now we will award Miss Body Beautiful. And the Miss Body Beautiful goes to candidate number eight. Candidate number eight is Miss Grizel Baluntang from the College of Nursing. Next award is Miss Perfect Smile. She has the very, the prettiest smile among all of the 14 candidates. And this award goes to the prettiest smile, the Miss Perfect Smile goes to candidate number seven. Candidate number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa from the College of Nursing. Now we're down to our last special award for the first set, and that will be Miss Elegance. And Miss Elegance goes to candidate number one. Candidate number one is Miss Brianna Ren Bills from the pharmacy department. Miss Elegance will receive a sash, bouquet, and cash voucher. Congratulations, candidates! You may now take your graceful exit. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our winners for the first set of awards. Congratulations, ladies! Our candidates tonight are competing in five exposures. Production number, school uniform, place with attire, evening gown competition, and the most awaited question and answer portion. The committee will give the remaining 10% based on the candidates' overall performance, attitude, attendance, and participation in all pre pageant activities, such as the pre-conference held last October 8, 2022, and the personality development held last October 12, 2013, 2022. And I'm sure these candidates want to know how they will be judged accordingly. So the official criteria for judging of the Miss DMC 2022 are as follows. Beauty of the face, body figure, intelligence, personality, and overall appeal. However, during tonight's competition, they will be scored by the judges on a scale of 6.0 to 9.99. 6.0 being the lowest and 9.99 being the highest. After the announcement of the top seven semi-finalists, each candidate will, be, will undergo a one-by-one -one casual interview. The scores will be added and only the three highest scores will then advance to the finals. They will be given a pen and paper and be asked one common question at the same time. The judges will then have one final look at the candidates to determine who our Miss DMC 2022 will be. I think we have to introduce our board of judges. It's time to introduce our board of judges. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, good evening. Tonight, we are honored to have been graced with most, with, a, with one of the most distinguished personalities here, not only in the province, but in the whole Philippines, on whose hands lay the faith and future of our next Miss DMC 2022. That's correct, and that's our board of judges. Let's start with the first judge. But we have to go to this place first because they have to show themselves on stage. <laughs> 
She managed the project and opening of one of the biggest malls in the country, SMC Site Cebu City, and a few other malls around Visayas. She's also the owner and manager of Sunburst Fried Chicken Restaurant in Cebu City, the regional operations manager in SM Super Mall. Please welcome Miss Anna Christine Maceno. is a founding partner and currently the managing partner of Bakiran Lumanta and Orfilia Attorneys at Law in Quezon City, Manila. He was also a college instructor in DMC College Foundation Incorporated from June 2009 to May 2012, teaching economics, research, history, and government courses. Let's give a round of applause to Attorney John Luen Lumanta! Our next judge is an alumna of DMC. She graduated with a degree in Bachelor of Science in Hotel, Restaurant, and Institutional Management last 2013. She was hailed as Miss HRM last 2011 and became Miss DMC second runner-up on the same year. A successful financial advisor of one of the leading life insurance companies in the country. I know this girl, my pretty relative, Miss Ivory May Ligados Literatos. Doctors University last 2006. She's a registered nurse here in the Philippines at a USR in the state of Illinois. A manager, owner of Baan Kuntai Massage Spa, DePaulet City, and Anne Chu Browse. A loving mom of two kids who are enrolled in DMC. The gorgeous Miss Anne Lorraine Chu. A round of applause, please. Next judge graduated Bachelor of Science in Nursing in Western Mindanao State University last 2012. He graduated Doctor of Medicine in Ateneo de Samuanga University last 2018 and Masters in Public Health in the same school last 2019. A family medicine resident in training in Corazon, Cuanco Aquino, and the founding faculty member of the soon to be established DMC Alberto Piconcha School of Medicine. Let's give him a warm welcome, Dr. Robert Sinsuan. Having earned a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry degree from Siliman University and a Law degree from DMC School of Law, he became a licensed chemist in 2012 and was admitted to the Philippine Bar to become a full-pledged lawyer in 2018. He is currently completing a Master of Laws at San Beda University. He is the youngest dean of a law school in the Philippines having been appointed as OIC Dean of JMSU College of Law when he was only 30 years old. Please give a round of applause to attorney Mark Jasper Shilo. Last but not the least, to complete the board of judges, our seven judge graduated BS in Hotel Management in UP Diliman, class of 2020. She hosted and performed in one of the most popular noontime shows in GMA Itbulaga. The general manager of the Kak Park and Beach Resort and the president of the Pitan Cultural Arts Council. She's professionally known as Lana Halos Hoss, the chairman of the board of judges. Give it up for Ms. Vetlana Halos Hoss de Leon. Wow, 
Wow, very pretty portrait. <laughs> Judges are now complete. Let's recognize the official tabulators of Miss DMC 2022 coming from the MIS department headed by Mr. Markil Anthony Rolo. To our judges and tabulators, thank you for honoring us with your invaluable time and presence. In the span of three weeks of hectic preparations and practices, the candidates had a series of videos and photo shoots, activities such as pre-conference, personality development program, and recently a closed-door interview with our judges. Now, let us please direct our attention to the screen in front as we will witness the behind-the-scenes footage of Miss DMC 2022. Let's go. We got that Coca Cola bottle shake, shake, shake. We got that sugar. Do you want it? Taste, taste, taste. We take it all around the globe, baby. Everywhere we go, make it hot when Mama rock and shake, shake, shake. Like oh, you know you want it, and I You know we got it. How we say, Soy Latina, baby. Soy Latina, baby. Miss DMC 2022 wouldn't be possible without our following sponsors. Platinum Sponsors, Suarez Review Center, Menace, The Rural Bank of Rizal, Country Bankers Insurance Group, Gold Sponsors, Zap Credit Corporation, Sublimation Hub, Academy for Professional Opportunities Review Center, Blue Concept, Miss Arlen Eel Hunter, Mr. Louis Christian Romero, Colts Neck Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine by Miss Bima Bai, Silver Sponsors, Skyrays, Development Bank of the Philippines, Squareway, Big Joes, Diamond Hardware, YSL, J Bombay Jewelry and Home and Office by J Bombay Enterprises. Sai Biko. Forum Gas Station. Aviva Publishing House. DNU Bros. Cellcom Tech. Inksys Express. Rockers Corner. Mascomida Mexicana. BCR Pharmacy. Hannah Bernadette House of Gowns and Crown. Morning Dose Cafe Addicti and the Sushi Box by Jocelyn Kansur and Roderick Tugade Lucero Bernido Photography Metro Shoppers Training Incorporated Smart and PLDT Distributor Miss Arlene Santome 
Miss Arlene Molina, Diwa, Shandar, Official Shoes by Mark Anthony Ten Chavez, Philip Arama Atelier, Versus Coffee, Our Donors, Miss Mary Chris Lyles, Miss Sheena May Bulagao, Miss Lovely Bye Bye, Miss Cherry Grace Bombard, Miss Arlene P. Salami, Mr. Maricor P. Solitario, Mr. Carl Jose Adasa, Miss Topeth de Kalina, Miss Krisha Michelle Caniete, Ambibo.ph, and Studio Z. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our 14 candidates in their school uniform together with the DMC Dance Troupe. from the physical therapy department.
number four is Miss Rekha Jen Kerndak, 19 years old from the School of Hotel, Restaurant and Institution Management. Number five is Miss Candy Lynette Mayo from School of Midwifery. Number six is Miss Kiara Angela Forsuelo, 16 years old from the Basic Education Department. Candidate number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa, 18 years old from the College of Nursing. Number eight is Miss Crizel Valuntang, 19 years old from College of Nursing. Number nine is Miss Daniela Zamoras, 20 years old from the Medical Technology Department.
is Crystal Gail Absima, 18 years old from the Radiologic Technology Department. is Miss Karil Ondong, 18 years old from the Medical Technology Department. from the pharmacy department. Number 13 is Miss Carol May Labadlaba, 21 years old from the College of Computer Studies. Number 14 is Miss Angel Ben Lok, 20 years old from the School of Teacher Education.
gentlemen, our 14 gorgeous candidates in their school uniform. confidence and poise in their school uniforms, bringing pride to their respective department. That's right, Isa. Why don't we give our candidates a round of applause, please? Before we move on to our second set of minor awards, we would like to remind everyone that food stalls are available and situated in front of the DMC library, so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy your show with food, drinks of your choice. Oh, that's good to hear. Now let's proceed to the second set of minor awards. The first special award for the second set is Miss Inksys Express Choice Award. And the candidate who will win this special award goes to candidate, candidate number one. Candidate number one is Miss Brianna Bills from the pharmacy department. This Texas Express Choice Award will receive a sash, bouquet, and 50% gift voucher for a PHLE reviewer print and book bag. from the Medical Technology Department. Miss Bloodline Clinical Laboratory is from an Honorable Val Angela D. Rehenshaw Bloodline Clinical Laboratory and Miss Carol Manayan Anderson and Miss Sweeney Ann G. Ocampo. She will receive a sash, bouquet, and a gift card. The next award goes to the USANA True Health Choice Award. And the winner for the special award goes to... Who do you think will win? Candidate number 12! Candidate number 12 is Miss Irvin Mel Villoro from the Pharmacy Department. She will receive a sash, bouquet, and USANA products. GFC Marketing is none other than candidate, candidate number 10. Candidate number 10 is Miss Crystal Gail Upsima from the Radiologic Technology Department. She will receive a sash and cash voucher. Special award is the face of Mass Comida. And the face of Mass Comida goes to candidate, candidate number three. Candidate number three is Miss Shania Shurika Sevilla from the Physical Therapy Department. Face of Mass Comida will receive a sash, bouquet, gift certificate worth 500 pesos.
is Miss Confident Smile Choice Award, which is from Miss Fabi Ragay Matabalan of True Care Diagnostic Laboratory and Miss Rika Maricor Manahit. Miss Confident Smile Choice Award. She is candidate, candidate number nine. Candidate number nine is Miss Daniela Zamoras from the Medical Technology Department. Another special award is the Miss Apple Review Center. And our Miss Apple Review Center goes to Candidate number seven. Candidate number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa from the College of Nursing. She received a sash and bouquet. of Morning Dose Cafe. The face of Morning Dose Cafe is none other than candidate. Candidate number one. Candidate number one is Miss Brianna Red Pills from the pharmacy department. She will be receiving a sash, bouquet, and gift certificate worth of 500 pounds. Congratulations, candidate number one. And now let's proceed to the Gupa Pharmacy Choice Award. And the winner for this special award is candidate number 10. Candidate number 10 is Crystal Gil Upsima from the Regiologic Technology Department. She will receive a sash, bouquet, and 500 pesos worth of pharmaceutical products. Choice Award. Hannah's Choice Award goes to who do you think it is? It's candidate number 12. Candidate number 12 is Miss Irvin Mel Villoro from the pharmacy department. Now we said we're halfway to complete the second set of awards. Now for this time, we will award the Miss Coltsneck Stem Cells. And the Miss Coltsneck Stem Cells goes to candidate number five. Candidate number five is Miss Candy Lynette Mayo from the Midwifery. Choice Award goes to candidate, candidate number three. Candidate number three is Miss Shania Sharika Sevilla from the Physical Therapy Department. BCR Pharmacy Choice Award will receive a bouquet, a gift certificate worth 500 pesos of pharmaceutical products. Let's proceed to the next special award, and that is Miss ABA Motor Parts and Accessories. And the Miss ABA Motor Parts and Accessories goes to candidate, candidate number 14. Candidate number 14 is Miss Angel Benlon from the School of Teacher Education. She will be receiving a sash and bouquet. Miss 
Montano Sardines Choice Award is Miss Candidate Number Four. Candidate Number Four is Miss Rekha Chan Karanda from the School of Hotel, Restaurant, and Institution Management. Miss Montano Sardines Award will receive a sash, bouquet, Montano Sardines products. The next award is Retro's Christian School Choice Award. And the winner for Retro's Christian School Choice Award goes to candidate number 13. Candidate number 13 is Ms. Carol May Labadlabad from the College of Computer Studies. Girl Choice Award goes to goes to candidate candidate number twelve. Candidate number twelve is Miss Irvin Melvilloro from the pharmacy department. Congratulations, and now let's proceed to the Miss Face of the Night. And the lucky candidate who will win Miss Face of the Night goes to... Candidate number 8! Candidate number 8 is Miss Grisel Valentang from the College of Nursing. from the School of Teacher Education. She will be receiving a sash and bouquet. Congratulations, candidate number 14. Now let's proceed to the Baked by Hannah's Choice Award. And the Baked by Hannah's Choice Award goes to candidate Candidate number 10. Candidate number 10 is Miss Crystal Gill of Sima from the Regiologic Technology Department. Our next award is Miss Carlos iPhone Choice. Miss Carlos iPhone Choice is candidate. Candidate number two. Ami Bulagar from the School of Business and Accountancy. Next special award is the Best in Advocacy Award. The Best in Advocacy Award goes to candidate number seven. Candidate number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa from the College of Nursing.
Congratulations, ladies. You may now take your graceful exit. Congratulations, ladies. You may now take your graceful exit. Each of our candidates have their own advocacy that they strongly believed in. Not only do they have the beauty, but they also have a compassionate heart to follow their principles in life. Now let's direct our attention to the lead wall in front as we get to watch the batch one of our candidates with their advocacy. Each and every one of us is struggling to cope up with the new normal that we are experiencing right now due to the pandemic. Anxiety, depression, and mental health problems are arising as each day passes by. Some people struggle to find the help that they need because of the thought there that their feelings might be neglected or invalidated. It is important to raise awareness about mental health to provide the support and help that the people need, especially with the validation and acknowledgement of their feelings. Just a friendly little reminder for everybody, please be kind and gentle with, with each other and one another. My advocacy is to empower the DMC community with knowledge of investment options, budgeting, and saving, to be equipped with a stronger understanding of basic financial concepts, to make sound financial decisions, to manage money wisely, achieve financial stability, and develop a genuine respect for the value of money through financial literacy program. My advocacy as a physical therapy student is the promotion of physical activity for the prevention of consequences of sedentary lifestyle. Most people nowadays are more inactive, spending doing some stuff that doesn't benefit them, and being too lazy will complicate your lifestyle and has some negative effects of your health. And before it's too late, we must value our health as much as we should build and reserve a strength of our younger years through physical activities and exercise. Let us all acknowledge that health is the biggest wealth of human race as money doesn't make a person happy, but good health does. Thank you. As a hospitality management student, my advocacy is inclined to end hunger. According to United Nations World Food Program, there is an estimated 8.9 percent or 680 million people that suffer hunger all around the world, half of which are found in Asia. If we can come together, we can mitigate the harsh effects of hunger through minimizing food waste, improving our food security, and planting our own food source. Teenage pregnancy remains as a leading contributor to maternal and child mortality. Complications related to pregnancy are the common cause of death of women aged 15 to 19 globally. Being pregnant and having a baby is a major life transition and can lead to significant impact physically, socially, and emotionally. And it is sad to know that a new generation doesn't give much care to their worth and fail self-respect. The unborn has the right to life, but it is more defined if it happens at the right time. As a DMC midwifery student, I would love to raise awareness among my fellow DMCians against teenage pregnancy. Value your parents, your siblings, and of course yourself, and enjoy life accordingly. Thus, sex is not a definition of true love after all. Breaking to hear about climate change and how we only have eight years to help prevent the worst possible effects on our planet. This leads to many scientists and researchers protesting. Yet, a lot of people still disregard one of the problems our environment is facing. One of the reasons of climate change is the use of plastic. That is why, as an advocate for plastic, I encourage everyone to reduce the use of plastic and start living with the green alternatives. Through a simple act, we can make a little change. And through this change, we will have hope of making our planet a safer place. 
Living in a fast-paced society demands a lot of pressure from us and makes us realize that maybe we should be seeking validation from others, and this causes strains on our mental health. That is why it is so important that we look at easy and healthy ways to deal with obstacles that challenge our mental health. And with you, I hope that you and I can look at the mirror, love ourselves every day, and appreciate the life that we were given. Thank you. Each and every one of us And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. We would like to thank the following sponsors. Platinum Sponsors. Suarez Review Center. Menace. The the Rural Bank offers all. Country Bankers Insurance Group. Gold Sponsors. Zap Credit Corp. Sublimation Hub. Academy for Professional Opportunities Review Center. Blue Concept. Miss Arlene L. Hunter. Mr. Luis Christian Romero. Calls Next Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine by Miss Bima Bai. Silver Sponsors Skyrace Development Bank of the Philippines Squareway Big Joe's Diamond Hardware YSL J Bombay Jewelry and Home and Office by J Bombay Enterprises Sai Biko 4M Gas Station Abiva Publishing House Incorporated DNU Bros, Cell Contact, Inksys Express, Rockers Corner, Mascomida Mexicana, PCR Pharmacy, Hannah Bernadette House of Gowns and Crowns, Morning Dose Cafe, Sunnyside, Tagupa Pharmacy. Addicti and the Sushi Box by Jocelyn Kansur and Roderick Tugade. Lissario Bernido Photography. Metro Shoppers Trading Incorporated, Smart and PLDT Distributor. Miss Arlene Santome. Miss Arlene Molina. Diwa. Shandar. Official Shoes by Mark Anthony Tenchavez. Philip Parama Atelier Versus Coffee Our Donors Miss Marie Chris Lyles Miss Sheena May Bulagan Miss Lovely Bye Bye Miss Cherry Grace Bomber Miss Arlene P. Salang Mr. Maricor P. Solitario Mr. Carl Jose Adasa Miss Topith Ikalina Miss Krisha Michelle Caniete Ambibo.ph and Studio Z. Ladies and gentlemen, let's watch the behind the scenes footage of Miss DMC 2022. Introduction. Follow my simple 
instruction Wind to the left, sway to the right Drop it down low and take it back high <laughs> Bitch, I don't need introduction Follow my simple instruction You see me, I do what I gotta do Ladies and gentlemen We got the Coca-Cola bottle, shake, shake, shake. We got the sugar, do you want to taste, taste, taste? We take it all around the globe, baby, everywhere we go. Make it hot for mama, rock and shake, shake, shake. Like, oh, you know you want it. Andale, you know we got it. That's why we say, soy Latina, baby, soy Latina, baby. Okay, let's go. Gentlemen, let's welcome the candidates in their Philip Parama play suits and official heels by Shandar Shoes. Let's give them a round of applause. Competition with candidate number one. Candidate number one is Brianna Renbills. Bree is a biracial candidate from the pharmacy department. This beauty can make you swoon while playing instruments like piano and ukulele, who also might beat you in badminton and swimming. A chick with skills. Brianna Bill.
seated at number two is Miss Alexi Ami Bulagao. Lexi is not your typical girl next door. She is sporty, fun, and talented. Whether grooving to the beat in dancing or scoring a goal in football, this 19-year-old got it all. Get ready to say wow, Alexi Ami Bulagao. Shania Sharika Sevilla, another singer and dancer, sashays the same tonight. Fun fact about Ishii is aside from enjoying appreciating art through performing arts, she also will impress you with her arts and crafts. She will definitely thrill ya, Shania Sharika Sevilla. Four is Miss Rekha Jen Tarandal. This hospitality management freshman loves cooking. Aside from singing and dancing, what sets her apart from others is her ability to rap. The spotlight is where you belong, Rekha Jen Tarandal. White reader and an aspiring writer, when she's not studying, Lynette spends her time reading fiction and horror stories. This girl actually has her own Wattpad account where she posts her work to her readers to enjoy. Maybe she can write her own winning story for this show, Candy Lynette Mayo. Number six is Miss Kiara Angela Forosuelo. The youngest candidate tonight, Kiara admits that she is new to the world of pageantry. With that beauty and that confidence, you definitely own the stage. Walk and win like a pro, Kiara Angela Forosuelo. Number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa. From playing the piano and violin to sports like fencing and weightlifting, this 18-year-old proves she is unstoppable. As a nursing student, Lexi thinks you can be everything you want to be. The stage is her arena, Alexandra Bastasa. Number 8 is Miss Criselle Baluntang. 
Who doesn't love a talented girl? Chriselle loves singing and she plays badminton. This year she won as Miss Nursing 2022, which earned her a spot to represent her department. She is ready to do her thing, Chriselle Valentine. Daniela Zamoras. When this girl talks, everyone listens. Danny's strength lies in her ability to speak her mind. A confident and strong competitor for the crown. Put your hands up, fellas, for Daniela Zamoras. Number 10 is Crystal Gil Opsima. This 18-year-old beauty is a prime example of small but terrible. Just like a bright star in the sky, Bala truly shines tonight. Show us your confidence and charisma, Crystal Gil Opsima. Real is into esports and reading Chinese novels. But did you know that she enjoys the sunset while paddle boarding? She manages her time well that she squeezes painting as her favorite pastime. You can never go wrong with Karil on dog. This multi-talented K-drama fan will not only make you fall for her dancing and singing abilities, but she surely impresses you with her gymnastic skills. Showing an impressive portfolio is Irvin Melville Laurel. Kara is a certified geek. As an IT student, Kara breaks barriers as she is out to prove that challenges she conquered are her battle scars. Suffering from alopecia or severe hair loss years ago, she has now regained her confidence and her crowning glory. Keep fighting even when things go bad. This is Kara Labad Labad.
This 20-year-old beauty is an aspiring educator. When she is not studying, she is active in sports and dancing. One thing she enjoys a lot is to be in touch with her environment where she discovered her love for nature photography. She can definitely do a lot. Angel Benla. Wow, these gorgeous ladies definitely have what it takes to be the next Miss DMC 2022. And for sure, our judges will be having a hard time to choose who will be the next title holder. Because as you can see, they are equally stunning and beautiful. So why don't we give them a round of applause, please? Of course, the place in the tire will not be possible without the creative minds of our Miss DMC 2022 official designer, Mr. Philip Parama, and our official pageant, Shandar Shoes, by Mark Athet and Chavez of Cebu City. Thank you so much. Now we have the envelope for the third set of special awards. Before we move on to our third set of special awards, we would like to announce that everyone is invited to DMC's Caller party tomorrow, October 22, 2022 at 7 p.m. here in the DMC Open Field. Let's have a night of colorful fun. At this juncture, we will now be awarding our third set of special awards. Yes, Isa. With that being said, let us now find out who looked best tonight. Our first award is the Kinamo Chicken in a Sal Choice Award. And the winner, candidate number 13. Candidate number 13 is Miss Kara May Labad Labad from the College of Computer Studies. She will be receiving a sash and bouquet. Choice award. This award goes to Canon. Canon number 13. Once again, Canon number 13 is Miss Carame Labad Labad from the College of Computer Studies. She will receive a sash and a bouquet. Our next award is the face of APZ Law Firm. And the winner, candidate number three. Candidate number three is Miss Shania Sharika Sevilla from the Physical Therapy Department. She will receive a cash voucher from Attorney Peter Zamora's law firm. Our next 
This award is Miss Positivity Award. Miss Positivity Award is none other than candidate. Candidate number 10. Candidate number 10 is Miss Crystal Gil Absima from the Radiologic Technology Department. She will receive a cash voucher from Zamboanga del Norte Association from California. Congratulations, candidate number 10. Now let's proceed to Miss Campus Crush. Miss Campus Crush goes to candidate. Candidate number 12. Candidate number 12 is Miss Irvin Mel Villoro from the pharmacy department. Campus Crush will receive a sash, bouquet, and a gift certificate. Our next award is Colección Elegante Award. Colección Elegante Award goes to candidate, candidate number 14. Candidate number 14 is Miss Angel Benlock from the School of Teacher Education. She will receive a cash, sash, bouquet, and certificate. Our next award is Clint's. Beauty Space. And the winner, I think you have to go back because the Clint's Beauty Face goes to candidate number 14. Once again, candidate number 14 is Miss Angel Benlock from the School of Teacher Education. She will receive a sash and bouquet. Miss Flawless Award. Miss Flawless Award goes to who do you think it is? It's candidate. Candidate number five. Candidate number five is Miss Kenny Lynette Mayo from the School of Midwifery. Congratulations, candidate number five. Now let's proceed to Miss Runway. And the Miss Runway goes to candidate. Candidate number three. Candidate number three is Miss Shania Sharika Savilia from the Physical Therapy Department. She will be receiving a sash, bouquet, and cash voucher. We are halfway through the third set of special awards. Miss Darling of the Night, who do you think is the darling of tonight's pageant? The Darling of the Night is candidate, candidate number six. Candidate number six is Miss Kiara Angela Forosuelo from the Basic Education Department. Darling of the night will receive a bouquet, sash, and a token. Now let's proceed to the Gwyn Aesthetic Clinic Choice Award. And the winner, candidate number 14. Candidate number 14 is Miss Angel Binlock from the School of Teacher Education. Our next award is Sarangyuksa Korean Restaurant Choice Award. This award goes to Candidate number 14. 
Once again, candidate number 14 is Ms. Angel Benlock from the School of Teacher Education. She will be receiving a sash and a bouquet. The, the next special award is Miss Zap Credit. This is headed by Attorney Ivan Patrick Ang. And the Miss Zap Credit Corporation is candidate number seven. Candidate number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa from the College of Nursing. Award. Miss Versus Award goes to candidate, candidate number six. Candidate number six is Miss Kiara Angela Horsfell from the Basic Education Department. Miss Versus Award will be given by Adeline Okope. We actually have one less award. We have Miss Menens, and this will be awarded by Adeline Okupi. We stand corrected. So, Miss Menens is candidate number six. Candidate number six is Miss Kiara Angela Forosuelo from the Basic Education Department. Receive a gift package by Menon's Gift Mart. Thank you so much. Congratulations, ladies. You may now take your graceful exit. I think they have to receive first the gift packs. Please receive your gift packs <laughs> first. to the lead wall in front of us as we get to watch the batch one of our batch two of our candidates with their advocacies my advocacy would be about honest sex education one advocate said that sex education isn't a taboo but a necessity and I agree with that it is something that we shouldn't be ashamed of and something that we shouldn't be denying I know that it is a quite sensitive topic here in our country given that we Filipinos are known to be very conservative. But people, especially the young generations, should know about sex, sexuality, relationships, as well as contraceptions and condoms. Providing them knowledge and skills about these things would be better than just telling them not to engage into sex. It would also help them keep themselves safe and for them to be able to have an effective plan for their future. Advocating for three children's right to education and health care. Little voices must be hearkened. They're trying to shout in order for people to be awakened. However, it is a continuous challenge to step up and fight for three children's right to education and health care. The longer they are left in the streets, the higher the possibility of danger and health deprivation, which is why it is time to take action 
to ensure that these children will no longer remain invisible. Initiative approach such as community reach out, providing education in open accessible areas, and feeding program will serve as gateway to achieve education and healthcare. I will choose to be the voice of the voiceless, the one that will break the perpetuating cycle of human rights violation. Nobody can make you feel inferior without your permission. The purpose of my voice today is to implement an advocacy campaign that will help both men and women rise up in fear and shame from sexual violence that may lead to lifelong repercussions. People of all ages, all economic classes and races, it is paramount that we must ensure a meaningful systematic action and teach our people to be better and mindful individuals. Thank you. Being a woman who is dignified and proud to represent the pharmacy department, it is my sole responsibility to act as the paragon of my fellow students. I witness a serious cases of gender discrimination and it concerns me that a lot of women and other members of the LGBTQ community are not given a chance and opportunity that are given to men. And the same goes to men. Some of them don't have equal access to resources that women are given. What I am trying to imply is that all of us should be equal when it comes to economic participation, decision making, and aspirations in life, regardless of our gender. And that is my advocacy, to promote gender equality. Thank you. Technology makes our lives easier. Everyone can have an access all throughout the world. And by just one click, you can spread and receive information with the use of technology. In today's generation, we all know that there are some people who are still coping and exploring with the advancements of media. I believe that the need for the betterment of the use of technology amongst the elderly is a necessity worth exploring. Nowadays, technology is rapidly evolving, and with its development, comes the learning curve especially for the elderly. That is why the research and development put into tools and technology of the elderly should be based in grounds for simplicity. Due to the current pandemic, our educational system of our country drastically changed. I, as a future educator, embraces this change as well as the responsibility that comes along with it. Seeing kids losing their motivation to continue their studies is really disheartening. That's why I am using this platform, Miss DMC, to continue my advocacy, EDUCAR. This is actively reaching out every young learners in our community by developing and motivating them through fun and engaging activities. I do hope that you will also have the same passion as mine to create a more resilient and adaptive young learners. This is to introduce to them the basic concepts as needed to prepare them for the world. As DMC believes, your future starts today. My advocacy. And now, dance to the sick beats with our 48th musical night pop dance champion, the MedTech Department.
Pet the kitty, call me caddy. Make your man call me daddy. He talk too much, he's too true. I'm not a princess, I'm a king. Bat out and kiss on my ring. Being a is my kink. Baby, what else did you think? I'm not a princess, I'm a king. Bat out and kiss on my ring. It's gonna hurt, it'll sting. Spit it. Our sponsors, Miss Dempsey will not be possible. Pattern of sponsors, Suarez Review Center, Menace, the Rural Bank of Rizal, Country Bankers Insurance Group, Gold Sponsors, Zap Credit Corporation, Sublimation Hub, Academy for Professional Opportunities, Review Center, Blue Concept, Miss Arlene L. Hunter, Mr. Luis Christian Romero, Colts Net Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine by Miss Bima Bahe, Silver Sponsors, Skyways, 
Development Bank of the Philippines, Square Wave, Big Joe's, Diamond Hardware, YSL, J Bombay Jewelry and Home and Office by J Bombay Enterprises, Sai B Co, 4M Gas Station, Aviva Publishing House Incorporated, DNU Girls, Cellcom Tech, Inksys Express, Rockers Corner, Mascomida Mexicana, BCR Pharmacy, Hannah Bernadette House of Gowns and Crowns, Morning Dose Cafe, Sunnyside, Tagupa Pharmacy, Addicti and the Sushi Box by Jocelyn Kansur and Roderick Tagade, Miserio Bernido Photography, Metro Shoppers Trading Incorporated, Smart and PLDT Distributor, Miss Arlene Santoni, Miss Arlene Molina, Diwa, Shandar Official Shoes by Mark Anthony Tanchavez, Philip Parama Atelier, Versus Coffee, Our Donors, Miss Marcus Lyles, Miss Sheena May Bulaga, Miss Lovely Bye Bye, Miss Cherry Grace Bomber, Miss Arlene P. Salami, Mr. Maricor P. Solitario, Mr. Carl Jose Adasa, Ms. Jobeth Ikalina, and Ms. Kisha Michelle Caniente, Ambivo.ph, and Studio Z. We are halfway to the final moment, and I believe everyone is at the edge of their seats. Everyone is excited for the special prizes and gift certificates our winning candidates would receive. The candidates who will not move forward to the top seven will receive a 2,000 pesos tuition fee discount, diba? Walang uwing luhan. <laughs> That's right, our Miss DMC 2022 second runner-up will receive a trophy, sash, bouquet of flowers and cash prize from our beloved sponsors. She will also be receiving a gift pack from Smart Telecommunications. For our first runner-up, she will be receiving a trophy, sash, bouquet of flowers, and cash prize from our dear sponsors. She will also be receiving a gift pack from Smart Telecommunications and an 8,000 pesos tuition fee discount. And the Miss DMC 2022 will receive a crown, sash, trophy, and bouquet of flowers. She will also be receiving a 10,000 peso tuition fee discount. And she will be the Miss Smart DMC with a, a gift pack. Wow. As the pageant carries further, only three of them can continue their dream of becoming the Miss DMC 2022. But before that, let us enjoy the escalating moment of the night. Let's welcome the lovely Candace in their evening gown.
gentlemen of the evening, this is the evening gown competition. Starting off with candidate number one. Candidate number one is Rihanna Rambill. Rio's ambition in life is to become a licensed pharmacist and a doctor. She draws her biggest inspiration from her mother, a phenomenal DMCN who, despite ups and downs, is still glad to be alive and reach this point of her life. Brianna Renville. Candidate number two is Miss Alexi Ami Bulaga. Lexi is a lovable, kind, and a jolly person. As what her friends describe her, she is carefree and enjoys exploring new things. She dreams to be a phenomenal businesswoman in the future. Of my color love, you do that thing that keep me calling ya. She won't cry if I don't stay tonight, but I can say goodbye. Cause I'm a rolling stone, baby. Come on, tell me what you like every night. Girl, I Candidate love number you three is Miss Shania Sharika Sevilla. She describes herself as a phenomenal person with a strong personality. She believes that her hard work and perseverance will pay off to reach her ultimate goals in life and turning her dreams into reality. Shania Sharika Sevilla. also strives to be a phenomenal writer and author. She believes in the best things she wants in life are all out of her comfort zone and 
she will stop at nothing to achieve these goals. Candidate number six is Miss Kiara Angela Forsuelo. Kiara used to feel insecure about her looks, but she is now finally breaking free to be phenomenal. Gaining confidence and grace, she dreams to be a pharmacist and to travel the world. to be a phenomenal doctor and serve the community. She commits herself to speak up for others in need, to uplift their spirits and bring out the best in everyone. She won't cry if I don't stay tonight, but I can say goodbye, cause I'm a rolling Chriselle dreams to be a phenomenal nurse one day. She believes that she has so much to learn and so much to improve. And she vows to go above and beyond to turn her dreams into reality. Tell me what you like every night. Girl, I know you got your own, but you could be mine. You bought that lifestyle.
take off my color love You do that thing that keep me calling ya She won't cry if I don't stay tonight But I can say goodbye Cause I'm a rolling stone Baby come on Tell me what you like Every night Girl I know You got your Candidate number nine is Miss Daniela Zamoras. Daniela is passionate about learning. She hopes to pursue medicine and become a cardiologist one day. She is braving the odds and not letting fear stop her from becoming phenomenal. Number 10 is Miss Crystal Gale Opsima. Bala believes that she lacks in height, but she makes up for personality. A simple woman with big dreams. She doesn't only come as one, but with all the love and support of the people that believe in her, which makes her a phenomenal woman. challenges that make her grow as a person. She is a grateful for everything that comes her way as these are all learning experiences. A woman who believes respect on oneself and others is key to become phenomenal. You bought that lifestyle. lifestyle. Everybody knows. Diamonds ain't got nothing on you. Oh, oh, oh. We bought that lifestyle. lifestyle. Dollar, dollar bills. Baby, we'll just stay here from birth. You about that?
Number 12 is Miss Irvin Melvillor. Irvin grew up living with her grandparents, which taught her valuable lessons such as striving for her goals to achieve them and stay humble. She is determined and focused in everything she is doing to be phenomenal. Of my color love You do that thing that keep me calling ya She won't cry if I don't stay tonight But I can say goodbye Cause I'm a rolling stone Baby come on Tell me what you like Every night Girl I know You got your own But you could be my You bought that life learned a valuable lesson of hard work and perseverance. As a phenomenal woman, her goal is to make the life of her family easier in the future. Of my color love, you do that thing that keeps me calling ya. She won't cry if I don't stay tonight, but I can say goodbye. Cause I'm a rolling stone, baby. Come on, tell me what you like every night. Girl, I know you got your own, but you could be my eye. You bought that life. Number 14 is Miss Angel Benlon. Angel is always excited to meet diverse individuals. She shares motivational messages to her peers to uplift them. She remains to be humble despite her victories. That's making her the phenomenal woman. She wants to be a role model in the community through educating to others the value of perseverance and education. Can't get 
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, our 14 gorgeous ladies in their long gown. Ooh la la, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our 14 candidates in their evening gown competition. These lovely women are mesmerizing their gowns. What do you think, Isa? I must say so. The glitter is the way to go, gals. I have no qualms with the way you guys look today. I definitely agree. And we would also like to recognize the artistic efforts of their respected designers. Job well done. Our ladies look elegant tonight. And while waiting for the fourth set of special awards, again, we would like to invite everyone tomorrow. Um, the Paula party will be held October 22, 2022 at 7 p.m. here in the GMC Open Theater. Will you be joining the party tomorrow, Martin? Unfortunately, I have to go back to his studio. I have a photo shoot, but are you going? <laughs> The event will not be possible without our sponsors. Miss DMC 2022 would not be possible without the following sponsors. We would also like to acknowledge the presence of our Board of Judges. Thank you so much for your time and effort in attending uh, Miss DMC 2022. The faculty and staff, thank you so much for your support to the candidates. We don't have the envelope yet. <laughs> I think the judges are really having a hard time choosing the next title holder. There you have it. I have now the envelope in my hand. 
Let's award the fourth set of minor awards. For the fourth set of minor awards, we have the first one. We have the People's Choice Award. We can hear some screams over there. Which department are you in? It's very quiet right here. Okay, we have mix of choices, mix of bets. The People's Choice Award is candidate number one. People's Choice Award will receive a sash and a bouquet of flowers. Our next award is Miss Addictee. Our Miss Addictee is candidate number seven. Candidate number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa of the College of Nursing. Miss Addict is awarded by Win-Win Sorella, our Queen Universe Philippines 2022. Our next award is Miss Sushi, Sushi Box Award. This award goes to candidate, candidate number nine. Candidate number nine is Miss Daniela Zamoras from the Medical Technology Department. Congratulations, candidate number nine. Now, the next award is our darling of the press, who nailed the press conference. And the winner for darling of the press is candidate, candidate number nine. Once again, candidate number nine is Miss Daniela Zamoras from the Medical Technology Department. Production number. Best in production number is Miss Candidate. Miss Candidate number seven. Candidate number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa from the College of Nursing. So she's the one who performed the best during the production number. Congratulations. Congratulations, candidate number seven. Now let's proceed to the best speaker. Who do you think will be the best speaker? The best speaker goes to candidate number seven. Once again, candidate number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa from the College of Mercy. Candidate number six is Miss Chiara Angela Forsuello from the Basic Education Department.
Our next minor award is the best in play suit. The lady who exudes confidence in play suit attire goes to candidate. Candidate number six. Once again, candidate number six is Miss Kiara Angela Forsuelo from the Basic Education Department. Candidate number three is Ms. Shania Sharika Sevilla from the Physical Therapy Department. Congratulations, candidate number three. And now, moving forward to the last minor award, which is the best in evening gown. Who will be the best in evening gown? I can see the lady from here wearing maroon, candidate number eight. Candidate number eight is Miss Griselle Valentin from the College of Nursing. Congratulations, ladies. To those who don't have an award, please take a grateful exit. And to our awardees, kindly have a photo of Congratulations, ladies. You may now take your graceful exit before we announce the top seven semifinalists. Okay, we have our top seven results right here. Let's allow our ladies to put their awards backstage. And we would like to request all the candidates to please come back here on stage. Who do you think will be part of the top seven? Cheer your bets, we can't hear you! Again, we would like to request our lovely candidates to be back on stage for the announcement of top seven. Again, we are inviting everyone for a caller party tomorrow. Are you ready, DMC? We have many guest DJs and a band tomorrow night. So please prepare your colorful shirts. Let's call back again to the 14 candidates. The crowd goes wild. We are excited to announce the candidates who will be part 
of the top seven. Isa already have the envelope. And we will announce the top contenders in a few. Good luck, ladies. Is everyone ready? I have here the envelope with me, with a list of names who will move forward to the next part of this pageant. Wow, this is exciting. I'm also getting nervous. <laughs> okay. The first candidate who will make it to the top seven is... Candidate number seven. Candidate number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa from the College of Nursing. You are still in the search. You are still in the search, candidate. Candidate number nine. Candidate number nine is Miss Daniela Zamoras from the Medical Technology Department. This might be your lucky night. Candidate number six. Candidate number six is Miss Kiara Angela Forsuelo from the Basic Education Department. The crowd is going wild. Let's announce our next fourth candidate. Next we have... Next we have candidate number 12. Candidate number 12 is Miss Evan Mel Villoro from the Pharmacy Department. Take a step forward, candidate number... Candidate number 8! Candidate number 8 is Miss Griselle Palutang from the College of Nursing. Our sixth candidate. Our sixth candidate. Moving on to the next round is. Who do you think it is? It's candidate number 14. Candidate number 14 is Miss Angel Benlot from the School of Teacher Education. Woo. Only one left. Who do you think completes our top seven semi-finalists? Cheer your bets! You are part of top seven, candidate number... You said it right, candidate number 11! Candidate number 11 is Miss Karel Andong from the Medical Technology Department. Congratulations, candidates. You may now take your graceful exit. The top seven, please step backward. Top seven, let's remain on stage and please step backward as we will have our casual one-on-one -on -one interview. We have already seen how the cadets gracefully carry themselves on stage. But there sure is something unique about them. It's not all about the beauty, but the brains as well. Correct. We now have, we now come to one of the highlights of tonight's search. The question and answer portion. 
The pageant is not only merely about glamour and poise, but also divides the contestants' characters as well and how they're able to formulate an answer to the question. At this juncture, we will be calling them one by one and they shall pick a judge's name in this bowl. Where's the bowl? <laughs> there you go. We have Bernard, Mr. Bernard Lokiao. Thank you so much. You'll be holding the bowl for tonight. Let's start first with candidate. Candidate number six. Good evening, candidate number six. You picked? Miss Ivory May Legados Literatos. Ivory May Legados Literatos. Good evening. Good evening. Kiara, Good how evening, are you feeling? I'm feeling great, and at the same time, I am nervous. You look fantastic today. Thank you so much. Okay, here is my question. Do you think that the youth today face more pressure of performance than the previous generation? Why or why not? Both generations faces... Both generation faces pressure in different situations but for me if we are going to talk about performance I will say the previous generation faces more pressure than the youth today because in today's generation we are given technology Because in today's generation are more advanced than, than the previous generation. That is why I believe that the previous generation faces more pressure than the youth today. Thank you. Thank you, candidate number six. We would like to remind everyone to refrain from cheering while they are answering the question. We can allocate uh, cheering after their answers. Now let's call in candidate number candidate number seven. Sorry. Candidate number seven. Please pick a judge. Attorney Mark Jasper C. Shello. Mark Jasper Shello. Good evening, candidate number seven. Good evening. My question for you is, if you can break a rule in your life, what would it be and why? If you can break a rule in your life, what would it be and why? Thank you for that question. Being a young girl, I was loved by my parents growing up. They gave me a lot of freedom and they a lot of time to figure out who I am without having to really put me in a box. However, I would still choose to say that I'd break the rule of speaking my mind. I've been silenced very many times growing up. A lot of my issues were just covered up and a lot of people decided to drown out my voice with their opinions. However, as a young woman here standing today, I know that I have the opportunity to use my platform for something good. And I would want to use my voice to speak up for people who can't speak for themselves and not be limited and not be discriminated for it. So that is why I would choose to have my voice spoken out as the rule to be broken in my life. Thank you. Thank you so much, Janet, number seven. Yes. I so love her answer. It's very personal. Great job. Next, we have candidate number 12. Please step forward. Candidate number 12, how are you feeling tonight? I'm happy to be here, but I'm feeling nervous. Who is your judge? 
Dr. Robert Sinsuan. Dr. Robert Sinsuan. Hello, good evening, Irving. Hello, good evening, sir. Okay, your question is, if you could legalize something with, which is prohibited in the Philippines, what would it be? Pardon? Again, if you could legalize something which is prohibited in the Philippines, what would it be? Thank you for that question. Um, it is the same-sex marriage because love has no gender and love is a decision we each must make and love flows sentimentally and I thank you. Thank you so much, Janet, number 12. Love wins. Now let's proceed to candidate number 9. Kindly pick your judge. It is Miss Anna Christine Masano. Hi, Irvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela. I, I, Daniela. Oh, I'm so sorry. So, I'm sorry. Candidate number nine. All right, Daniela. Okay, so here goes my question. What do you think is the hardest part of winning and the hardest part in losing? Thank you for that wonderful question. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Winning and losing are essential and vital parts of life. However, the hardest part of winning is by starting to wear that crown that you were once aiming. Because you will be looked up to. People will focus on you and great pressure will be put upon you. However, the hardest part of losing is that you will be put under great pressure. You will ask, where did everything went wrong? Where did I lock something? And where did I become unworthy of winning those questions make us doubt ourselves however let us always believe that no matter what may happen let us always remember that victory might come out by bowing out gracefully and I thank you thank you so much candidate number nine next we have candidate number 14 Candidate number 14, please pick a judge. Miss Anne Lorraine Chu. Your judge is Miss Anne Lorraine Chu. Good evening, Angel. Good evening, ma'am. Here's my question. What are your thoughts on the high incidence rate of teenage pregnancy in the province? Thank you for that wonderful question. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My thoughts about the high rate of teenage pregnancy is that My thoughts about uh, teenage, the high rate of teenage pregnancy is that I will use my, uh, I will use this platform to raise my advocacy, which is EDUCAR. And as what I have read in the CN, uh, in the CNN news, the uh, the Philippines increase increase at seven percent of the high rate of pregnancy due to to the following uh, reasons why. First is that. The increase of unemployment rate. Second is the is the less quality education, specifically those who live in mountainous province in our uh, mountainous province in Sabuanga del Norte, especially those less fortunate kids. And with that, I will use my flat platform to raise my advocacy, which is Edocar. This is to conduct a, le a lecture about teenage pregnancy in order for them to 
to have self-control, to have awareness, and also to have equipped knowledge. And I thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number 14. Now let's proceed to candidate number 8. Pick your judge. Miss Vatlana Halos Hos. Hi, Carcel. Hello, ma'am. This is my question. Previously, mothers and married women were disqualified to join the Miss Universe pageant. As it was said, being Miss Universe is a full time job as a global ambassador. What are your views on the announcement of the Miss Universe organization allowing mothers and married women to the, to the universe pageant competition? Good evening, everyone. As a fan of Miss Universe, I have seen that winners have full responsibilities. And I believe that I would agree on what the the Miss Universe organizations, what, the, what have they decided? That women, or like married women, should join the pageant. Because I believe that these women can do so much more given that they have already full experiences in life. And as one can say, she who wears the crown bears the weight of the crown. Thank you. I agree. Pageants are created to empower women who are not well represented. So, good job, candidate number eight. Last but not the least, we have candidate number 11. Candidate number 11, who is your judge? It's attorney John Lewin Lumanta. Your judge is attorney Lumanta. Hi, Toriel. This is my question for you. What do you think is the best way to promote women's empowerment? I think women empowerment is something that empowers women, not only those who identify themselves as women, but also those who cherish themselves and bears the soul of a woman. I myself should start and promote myself, the woman in me, and I not o I'm not only in here in front of you setting, this f setting my foot at this stage, I'm also carrying a larger self of me, and I think that women empowerment should also be essential for us women to understand that we have the right to vote, we have the right for conversation, and I thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number 11. Thank you, ladies. You may now take your graceful exit. Before we announce the top three, we would like to thank all the candidates for being here with us all along. We cannot deny that they had a memorable and fun experience, but they also had to bear with them the hardships. It's not easy going through long rehearsals for many days. And if I may, I would like to congratulate all of our candidates. Even though only three will go on, all of them are still winners. Certainly, Joel. In a few moments, our candidates would be down to three. But before that, let us witness an intermission number coming from the champion of the 48th Musical Night Vocal Solo Competition, the Basic Education Department.
welcome another intermission number from the champion of the Pasig Laban 2022 musical night vocal solo competition Mr. Bernard Lacquiao The champion of the Pasig Laban 2022 Musical Night Vocal Solo Competition, Mr. Bernard Lukyao. Let's give him a round of applause. Miss Dia 
GMC 2022 would not be possible without the following sponsors. Platinum Sponsors Suarez Review Center Menace Approval Bank of Rizal Country Bankers Insurance Group Gold Sponsors Zap Credit Corporation Sublimation Hub Academy for Professional Opportunities Review Center Blue Concept Mr. Arlene Hunter Mr. Luis Christian Romero Cold Snack Stem Cells and Regenerative Medicine by Ms. Bima Bae. Silver Sponsors Skyrace Development Bank of the Philippines Square Wave Big Joe's Diamond Hardware YSL J. Bombay Jewelry and Home and Office by J. Bombay Enterprises Sai Biko Forum Guest Station Abiva Publishing House Incorporated DN Euros, Cellcom Tech, Inksys Express, Rockers Corner, Mascovida Mexicana, BCR Pharmacy, Hannah Bernadette House of Gowns and Crowns, Morning Dose Cafe, Sunnyside, Tagupa Pharmacy, Addicti and the Sushi Box by Jocelyn Consor and Roderick Tugade. The Syria Bernito Photography, Metro Shoppers Trading Incorporated, Smart and PLDT Distributor, Miss Arlene Santome, Miss Arlene Molina, Diwa, Shandar, Official Shoes by Mark Anthony Ten Chavez, Philip Parama Atelier, Versus Coffee, Nature Spring Drinking Water, Our Donors. Miss Mary Chris Lyles, Miss Sheena May Bulaga, Miss Lovely Bye Bye, Miss Cherry Grace Bomber, Miss Arlene P. Salam, Mr. Maricor Solitario, Mr. Carl Jose Adasa, Miss Joseph Aquilina, Miss Krisha Michelle Caniete, Ambibo.ph and Studio Z. Let's welcome him back again on stage. The champion of the Pasig Laban 2022 Musical Night Vocal Solo Competition, Mr. Bernard Lukyao. We would like to acknowledge the presence of our Board of Trustees of the DePaul Medical Center College Foundation. Starting off with our President, Attorney Albert T. Concha Jr., Vice President Dr. Stephen Young, Corporate Secretary and the VP for Admin and Admission, Attorney Diana Charlotte Concha. Our Trustees. Engineer Richard T. Concha and the Vice President for Buildings, Grounds and Safety. Philomena T. Concha, the Vice President for the Student External Affairs and Linkages Department. Dr. Gerald T. Concha, Vice President for the Basic Education Unit, Carissa Pia M. Concha, and the Vice President for Finance, Mr. Francisco Montano.
Due to technical difficulties, we will now proceed to the announcement of the top three. So let's call the top seven semi-finalists back on stage. Let's not prolong the agony. Ladies, the top seven, please come back on stage. Best of luck to all the ladies, and I think you have the result in your hands. That's right, partner. I already have here the results in my hand. Are you excited? I am very excited to determine the top three for this year's Miss Dempsey 2022. Is everyone excited? Who are your top three finalists? We now have here the results verified by our official tabulators. Now, our first candidate to advance to the top three is none other than... Candidate number... Candidate number seven! Candidate number seven is Miss Alexandra Bastasa from the College of Mercy. You are still included in the search. Daniela Zamoras from the Medical Technology Department. To complete our final three, who's your bet? Let's give it up for. Candidate number eight! Candidate number eight is Miss Griselle Baluntam from the College of Nursing. Congratulations, ladies. You may now take your graceful exit. The crowd is going wild. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up to our top three finalists. Congratulations, Candice, for having gone this far. I'm sure your family and friends and everyone else who gave support are really proud of you right now. And of course, the whole DMC is also proud of you. At this point, okay, let's settle down. Let's settle down, everyone. <laughs> At this point, we have come to the much-awaited part of this event, the question and answer portion, in which many people look forward to any pageant. The final round of the competition begins right now. Each candidate will be given a pen and paper. One common question will be asked, and they will have two minutes to write their answer. Once they hear the sound, I can't hear it. <laughs> Once 60 or 2 minutes is done, all pens should be up and they'll re read what they've written on their paper. The scores are now back to zero and the candidates in the top three will answer the same common question. Their answer will determine their places when we announce the winners. Okay, let's make sure the candidates are all seated comfortably in their respective chairs. Candidates, please proceed to your chairs. Mm -hmm. 
Let us remind everyone to please remain silent as the candidates will be answering in a few moments right now so they can be able to focus. Ladies, prepare. Let's show the countdown on the lead wall. We have two minutes on the screen. Can we restart the timer? Okay, I will be the one to read the question, okay? I'm gonna read it twice. Do you agree to the proposal of some groups that the qualifications of those who are to be elected as president of the Philippines be changed to require a college degree and not simply someone who is able to read and write? Why or why not? Again, do you agree to the proposal of some groups that the qualifications of those who are to be elected as president of the Philippines be changed to require a college degree and not simply someone who is able to read and write? Why or why not? Timer starts now. Sixty seconds on the clock. You have 10 seconds left. Time's up. Ballpins up, ladies. To check whether their written answer coincides to what they're speaking, let's call in one of our Miss DMC Committee Chairman, Sir Michael Jeff Leon. Let's start with candidate number eight. As a student, I agree that the presidential decree requirement should be changed because this doesn't only help the people. It also helps the younger generations have a better future and a brighter one. We should choose a leader who's competent enough to sustain our needs as their people and handle not just national, but also and most especially the international problems. Thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number eight. Now let's call in candidate number seven. Candidate number seven, please step forward. Hello. The government handles many critical cases in order to achieve peace 
A witty mind without a degree is indeed important. However, the reality we face is that the technical factors always have the final say. Therefore, I believe a degree is the key and tool to achieve honest, proper, and competent governance in any country. Thank you so much, candidate number seven. Last but not the least, we have candidate number nine. Good evening, everyone. Being a leader is both an honor and responsibility. It is essential to have a good educational background when deciding to stand in front of a nation. I believe the degree is a must to be able to let your crowd follow your lead. Because with good attitude and education, we will achieve a nation that is worth living until the next generation. And I thank you. Thank you so much, candidate number nine. Thank you, ladies. That completes the top three question and answer portion. You may now take your graceful exit as the tabulation of scores commence. We would like to ask the staff to get the chairs. The crowd is getting very competitive. Okay. Now, in the past years, Ms. DMC 2022 had produced endowed and fabulous title holders. That's right. We've seen how the pageant has changed them to the woman they have become. I know all of us are longing to see once more our reigning Miss DMC 2019 and to have another glimpse of one of our pageant's milestones. It's my honor to bring to you our reigning Miss DMC 2019, Miss Annabelle Hazel and Guito. My journey began. DMC will always hold a dear place in my heart. Joining Miss DMC has been one of the best decisions I've made in my life and I was able to join twice. There were many struggles and setbacks, but I never take them as signs to quit. Instead, as an opportunity to prove myself once more and become much better and stronger. This journey has taught me so much and has contributed to making me the woman that I am today. But I know that I could have not done this without people behind my success. So I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to those who believe in me for all these years. First and foremost, I truly thank our Heavenly Father for all the blessings He has showered upon me. It is truly a blessing and a priceless experience that I will always treasure as I continue my journey in this lifetime. To everyone who has been a part of my journey, to my family, my tita and tito, and all the amazing women in this family, to my best of friends, to my mentors, teachers, stylists, to the organizers who took care of me, and to all and everyone who supported me during my time, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for everything. Thank you for believing in me and my potential. For without all of you, I wouldn't be where I am right now. 
You have given me nothing but positive support, and that means so much to me. I have nothing but gratitude and unforgettable memories. And as I close this chapter, I wholeheartedly do so with a grateful heart. To the next queen, tonight marks the beginning of your reign. Cherish and enjoy every moment and all the future opportunities that will be handed to you. Know that it's not just a crown that makes a queen, but the heart that lies within. Remember that in all you do, do it with all your heart. Once again, this is Annabelle Hazel Inguito, your Miss DMC 2019, signing off. On the stage once more, our reigning Miss DMC 2019, Miss Annabelle Hazel Inguito. Now in only a matter of minutes, we'll be moving on to the most anticipated moment of this event. Who will be crowned Miss DMC 2022? Before anything else, we would like to acknowledge the people who worked tirelessly and who poured all of their efforts to make this event successful. This year's 48th founding anniversary celebration will not be successful without the leadership of our Board of Trustees. The Vice President of the Administration and Admission, Attorney Diana Charlotte Concha, Madam, and the Vice President of the Student External Affairs, Linkages and Development, Dr. Gerald D. Concha, sir. Let's also recognize the effort of our very dynamic and supportive overall chairman and the Dean of the College of Nursing and Allied Medical Sciences, Dr. Maria Grace F. Grigel. Together with her dashing Miss Dempsey pageant chairman, Sir Michael Jeff Leong, and his co-chairman, Sir John Del Yunting, let's all give them a big round of applause. I'd say congratulations to everyone who took part and gave their effort in making this event a success, especially to the working committee. Looks like everyone is more than ready. The crowd looks very excited. May we call in the top three finalists, please, on stage. with us we will open it together later okay <laughs> but before we announce our winner may we invite everyone for tomorrow's much awaited DMC caller party that's October 22 2022 at 7 p.m. to be held here in a DMC open field you're really gonna miss out the fun partner I hate to see these lovely candidates suffer the suspense some moment longer Let's see who's going home with the glory and be hailed as Miss DMC 2022. We have the envelope. Shall we open now? Oh, but before that, to help us present our second runner-up, may we call Miss Anna Christine Maceno and Attorney John Luen Lumanta to present the award. Let's open. Okay. First, I'm gonna announce the Miss DMC 2022 second runner-up. Who's the second runner-up? Cheer your bets! Our Miss Dempsey second runner-up goes to candidate number K. 
candidate number eight. Candidate number eight is Miss Grisel Valentin from the College of Nursing. She will receive 6,000 pesos tuition fee voucher, cash prizes from our sponsors, and a gift package from Smart Telecommunications. Congratulations, candidate number eight, our Miss DMC section runner up. Now we are finally down to two. We are going to call the first runner up first. Again, I'm going to call the first runner up first. The candidate who will not be called will automatically be hailed as Miss DMC 2022. We will call in Ms. Ivory May Legados Literatos and Dr. Robert Sinsuan to present the awards for our first runner-up. May we also call on Sage, Ms. Anne Lorraine Chu and Attorney Mark Jasper Shalo, Ms. Vetlana Halosos de Leon and the reigning Ms. 2019 Annabel Hazel Anguito to award our winners. Are you ready? Who will it be? Is it candidate number seven? Is it candidate number nine? We proudly present our first runner up. Our Miss DMC. 2022 first year up is candidate number nine. nine. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss DMC 2022 is not a bad candidate number seven. Miss DMC first runner up is Miss Daniela Zamoras from the Medical Technology Department. A truly wonderful evening. Our Miss DMC 2022 is very emotional right now. I know they've put a lot of effort to represent her department. Congratulations. And of course, to all the ladies here, job well done. First runner-up will receive 8,000 pesos tuition fee voucher, cash prizes from our sponsors, and a gift package Once from Smart Telecom. Once again, our Miss DMC 2022 is Miss Cannon number, number seven. seven. Miss Alexandra Bastasa. Miss DMC 2022 will receive a 10,000 peso tuition fee voucher, cash prizes from our sponsors, and she will automatically be the Miss Smart DMC with a gift package from Smart Telecommunication. What a truly wonderful evening. Our heartfelt gratitude to the 14 lovely candidates. Indeed, you made this pageant a very spectacular and memorable one. Congratulations to our newly proclaimed Miss DMC 2022 and to everyone who stayed with us tonight. Thank you. We would like to thank the production, staff, and the Miss DMC 2022 committee. We would also like to express our deepest appreciation to our panel of judges. See you all next year for another enchanting event of beauty, intelligence, and persona. This has been your host, Joel Ricard Casona. Isomay Luli Octaves.
Thank you, everyone, and good night!